hi everyone welcome back to my channel so today we're going to start on a new project so the first thing we need to do for this project is make some skins so i've got this silicone baking mat i'm going to use to pour this, the paint on so i can let it dry and peel it off the colors i will be using i will pop it up on the screen and let's just pour some in this cup So here's my cup. Let me explain what we're gonna be pouring. So I've I got a picture of a sea turtle. We'll put it up in the screen. And we're going to be pouring its shield. So what I had in mind was doing a couple of ring pours and then using those to make the shield. I think I need a little bit more brown. Okay, so let's pour this. Starting in the middle. It's looking good. I want to spread it out just a little bit. So I just put a canvas underneath so I can pick it up. So I think that looks about right. Let's torch some bubbles. Okay, let's do one side first. So if you saw the picture of the turtle, you saw that it has um, like white lacing on his body. So I was thinking using some titanium white by Amsterdam with Australian Floatrol and swiping it. Let's see what happens if I swipe this. Perfect. So I'm just gonna double swipe it as what I did with the other side to make it a little bit more even. I have a little bit left, so I'm going to do a little extra puddle, just in case we need it. So I think that's going to be the head. I'm going to leave it with one swipe. And now we all, all we have to do is cover this up, let it dry, and we'll be back for stage number two. So let's start our base. Our skins are drying and this is a 40 by 30 centimeter, uh, centimeter canvas and I'm going to do a blue background with some white. Um, it's going to be hanging the other way around so I'm going from dark to light with our blues. I'll show you in the screen which ones they are. Should be more than enough to cover the whole canvas. A little bit of water in this one. Gonna keep it as a little bit of a flow extender. So let's go to the white. And I'm 
going to use my little tool to run through it. And let's stretch this. Maybe use a corner catcher. like how it's moving. I just think it's a little bit too much. So I might see if I can get the lines to go all one way. There. And I'm actually gonna let it stay. Just make sure the corners are covered. And scrape the drips. And torch it one more time. So what I did with the torch is go in a little bit closer so the water in the paint evaporates very quickly and then you get these little tiny cells. Um, it's just the paint drying and um, if you have a flat surface it has tension. But if you take away from the, the tension on the sides it will create a void and that's why you're getting the cells. But just don't stay too long on one point because you can burn the paint. But I'm very happy with how this worked out. Let's get this one dry. So our background is fully dry. And I prepared some um, shapes that I want to use for my turtle. So it's going to look something like this. And then with dollar flippers as well. So let's get this out of the way. So what I want to make is his uh, shield, his home, and um, this is a little bit smaller than the skin I made uh, because I wanted to make it a little bit higher, a little bit rounded, and for that I will be using some of this thick paper, it's almost cardboard, some aluminium foil. So some modeling clay. So let's get our base shape done first. Okay. okay, that's feeling a lot better. So let's wrap this in some tin foil. So that's looking quite well. Um, let's get some modeling clay rolled out. Okay, so I've put some clean film down on top of my shape. And this is some air drying clay. I'm just gonna roll it out with a glass. The reason why I put it on the foil is so it will make it easier to put it on the shape. Upside down. Top. So I just smoothed it down a little bit, uh, corrected the shape all around, and now we just need to let it dry before I can add the skin on top, but let's get it dry. So let's peel our little shell skin off. It's really, really thin. So 
I have to be very careful not to break it. So this is the underside. It's also, it's not ugly. But this is the side we're going to be using. So let's get it to fit over our shield and see if it actually does fit. So this is the little 3D shield I made. Or shell. Tortoise shell. It's hard. Uh, I taped the underside. I'll explain later. So we've got our skin. And I think it's going to fit... I've got a lot left over. Let's turn it upside down. So I've got some area left. And that's actually what I wanted because I want to make a little scalloped edge. But first we need to glue it on here. Okay, let's get some glue. Okay. So... Got some more of the PVA glue. Just gonna brush it on. And let's start from the top and just squish it on. And I'm pushing down and pulling out. So I, I'm stretching the skin on top of the clay. And once it's dry, we'll move on to putting it on our base painting. So let's place this one on here. And I think I'm going to just draw an outline. So I will be using a non-permanent pencil. Uh, I'll just run it. Okay. And let's just cut it. And there's our head. So I think I want to use it for the flipper. Let's do this side first. I like the look of that. So let's cut that one out. One, two, three. So here are my flippers. The front flippers. So move those over. Now we only have the back ones okay, left. Let's do this one. One, two, three. So here you go. This is my flippers and head for my twitters. And now we're ready to move on to um, this placement on my base painting. So I've cut down the sides to the shape I wanted. Just using the little knife to cut around. It's not completely flat, but it's okay. Then I put some double-sided tape on the back. And what I'm gonna do is take this off, put PVA glue around the edges and stick it down. So I took off the top part of the tape. I'm just gonna brush on some glue, some PVA glue. Okay. So let's see, I marked the top and the bottom. Let's hope I can get it on without too much issues. I'm just adding a little bit to the edge. It will dry clear. I just really want to make sure it sticks down. 
let's let it dry and we will come back and do some little detailing before we're going to do a top coat. So let's get some resin on this one. I mixed up some resin. I'm just gonna pour some on and spread it around. So here she is, all done, nice and shiny with a layer of resin. I'm so happy how this turned out. I really, really want to know what you think. Please leave a comment down in the comment section below. I really would appreciate it. So let's do a couple close-ups. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone!